Hello there, my name is Richard. The first time you see my channel, I usually review cartoon series, anime series, or something completely random. And today will be Carmen San Diego Season 2. Now let's get started. Now, Season 2 of Carmen San Diego did a lot of things. I mean, so much things happened. I don't know where to start with. I think I start with the Detective Prince. So, he was basically the most annoying character, annoying character of Season 1. They sort of bench him for kind of obvious reason, not because it was annoying, well at least not to me, I probably am the only one who actually enjoys him, but besides that, they bench him because he was basically burning up and kind of integrated Brady roughly, so he needed to sort of be benched to recover, and also kind of got fired because on confidence he kind of let Carmen Sandy go, so yeah, you can see why he got benched. But I like about what they did after that. It kind of make this most show more serious, more dramatic, more kind of plot twist after plot twist that I truly enjoy. But they also have that one little thing that was sort of obvious, but you can see they what they needed that kind of need to fill in shadow some in vow that sort of faculty one space left. They needed that fifth member. This means the whole show became kind of the villain of the week kind of deal to figure out which villain to fit that fifth space of Val and that I was kind of innocent because I feel you kind of uh, I don't know, wasted time for that. I mean, you could do that in two episodes, but they stretched it out a couple more. But the end, it actually did work. Because you can love to see all the kind of characters come in to see what their specialty are and how they kind of take down Carmen San Diego and fail, of course. But I think the jewel of the crown of this season is how Shadow Sun and Carmen have this kind of untrusting relationship, like a father daughter kind of dynamic. That once more, this is the man who kidnapped her and uh, put her in vow and made her this kind of criminal empire masterpiece, whatever you want to say. But at the same time, he actually does care about her, but, but you can't trust him that much. Fully now words because he's keeping a lot of secrets from Carmen and she knows that she tries to make it work trying to Fit him in her own team. Of course. She also have to deal with her own uh, Partners like the siblings who are very comical, but more well done and more fleshed out as characters Usually they're just one joke or trying to be the comedy duo of the whole season besides the detective but I feel they did very well what they have with these two, two characters and also explain the origin, how they made Carmen and why they joined. Yeah, I enjoyed that little part because kind of tell me who they actually are. And on top of this, this season too, they're trying to understand how to put her in Acme, how she will follow them, how she would join on their crew. And this one kind of forced it in a way that, yeah, it had to be a certain scenario that she has no choice as to join Acme. And you can see all the situations she fall into that she kind of desperate. She needs more, more power, more money, more, more kind of thinking out of the box. But at the end, she needs more people. And that's kind of forced her to sort of join Acme, but also kind of questioning why she rejoined that she really needs them or not the depends on the situation she fits herself in with Val. But I love it they also have the arcy mystery that actually answered that main question you always wonder of CC1. What happens Carmen's family? Who were they and why they basically disappear? Spoiler alert that dad dies. Yeah, it's something that you wondering why he died. You find out Shelly's home the one who kind of killed them, not killed them, it's kind of revealed back and forth in different ways, of, not the different ways, the different point of views of different people, what actually happened. And Shadow Sun sent him to kill him because he did portray Val because he was one of them. That you wonder, okay, this is the thing you can't trust, Shadow Sun. He killed your own father, why you have near him, but at the same time he explained why you trust him and why she didn't tell him. Everything she said is actually true. If I tell you, you decide to the state in Val because criminal trying to steal is in your own blood. You probably will change even you not knowing that information. So it's something she 
pretty thrown the dice to see what happens while telling her. And the effect is Carmen, the good thief kind of person that he wants her to become. And she kind of sort of realized that. He also struggles that to understand herself to let a shadow son to be next to her. That is kind of interesting and kind of too jerky because I kind of cried watching this. I mean, yeah, I have fully admit I actually cried. I actually teared up so much that I kind of feel all the fuzzy in my heart. I just, I couldn't help it. It's just so sad and wonderful in the same time. Besides that, I love it how everything ends with the detective from Seoul. He came back and decided to take down Carmen because how Acme got sort of got betrayed by Carmen because she got hacked of their own systems decided to leash the demon dog to find her and finally put her in jail but of course Carmen did this for one simple reason she wanted to know the truth who killed Carmen's dad and also what happened to his mom you realize the mom's alive but the dad got died by the chief the chief killed him by accident because she was still sort of a rookie so you feel this sort of conflicting emotion to see carmen do she trust acme especially the chief what she did but at the same time you understand she's a cop she had to react before she actually got killed by herself but I'm not knowing he was not holding a gun but you could see he looked like he holding a gun so she had to react so you could see this sort of debate around herself trying to struggle do I need them or they need me more I love about that that sort of struggle that sort of kind of trying to find who is Carmen kind of scenarios that I just enjoy. I mean, I enjoy all this, the, the pacing, the new animation, the all kind of darkness they're trying to put this new show up that I enjoy. Now, I got nothing else to say. I just, I just love Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a wonderful day. Bye.